the three best handstand shapes to learn, how they benefit you, and in which order I generally recommend tackling them. Straight shape, what most people think of when they hear the word handstand. It is the most difficult two-arm shape to balance because of the high center of gravity, but starting with this has benefits. Mainly that the kick-up entry used to enter it is one of the easiest. It can be done from standing, which generates momentum. This means stacking the hips over the shoulders and hands requires less power and strength. Also, check out how one leg can be placed over the hands before the other, which also decreases the physical difficulty. Tuck up and straddle up don't have this advantage and require more of the aforementioned power and also flexibility. You can sort of kick up into straddle and tuck, but it is awkward and not as straightforward for a beginner. Tuck shape requires significantly more shoulder strength and mobility than straight handstand. This is why I recommend not starting with it for complete beginners. See how the bulk of the lower body is no longer aligned over the hands? so the shoulders and upper back have to push up harder to compensate for this. Therefore, working on the tuck shape benefits all other positions to a high degree by giving you a more powerful upward push. On top of that, it is a doorway to plenty of other nice variations and more difficult positions. This one's for the yogis. Luckily, it has a lower center of gravity, so is easier to balance than straight shape. When you can hold a 30 second freestanding straight handstand, start on tuck. Though some chest to wall tuck handstands for conditioning can begin early in this, but make sure you can hold a straight handstand against the wall for at least a minute first. Straddle shape, the most forgiving shape out of the three. You have the lower center of gravity of the tuck, but without the added shoulder load. It is very easy to pick up once the other two are solid and just at the right time to begin working on more advanced moves that are based on straddle, such as straddle press to handstand. It is a popular shape to begin one arm handstand development with. And it's a fantastic entry point into the world of flags when you're ready. And there it is, three shapes that provide the most bang for your buck and lay the foundation for so much more. This is not going to apply to every person's individual circumstance, but is a good starting point. If anything, don't try to learn a whole bunch of different shapes at once if you can't even hold your handstand away from the wall. And prioritise mastering these three shapes before others. Hit the link in the description for your free handstand learning resource. And thank you so much for watching.